fascinating creatures and unimaginable sounds from the bottom of the sea. Have we discovered the deepest corner of the ocean yet? But more importantly, will we get to know all its secrets before pollution destroys everything? Let the adventure begin! The Deepest Part of the Ocean Challenger Deep, the Mariana Trench The search for the deepest point takes us to the Western Pacific Ocean, specifically to Challenger Deep. Located at the southern end of the Mariana Trench, Although the use of different measurement methods means there's still no specific depth, it's estimated to be 36,037 feet deep. This depth is equal to the height of Mount Everest, but its peak would still be 1.2 miles underwater in Challenger Deep. If you're wondering why to this day there's no specific depth measurement, you should know that it's no easy task. First, the pressure in this area is 15,750 PSI equivalent to a thousand times the standard atmospheric pressure or the weight of a thousand elephants standing on your head. Plus, machines start to fail at that depth. The deepest point wasn't always there. The Mariana Trench was formed due to subduction or collision between the Pacific Plate and the Mariana Plate. This crescent-shaped oceanic trench is about 1,580 miles long and 43 miles wide. And of course, its depth may vary depending on the plate movement. Otherworldly sound recordings? In 2014, mysterious sounds recorded from the bottom of the Mariana Trench caused commotion not only among the scientific community, but all over social media. These sounds aren't fake. They were recorded with autonomous seafaring robots from the Oregon State University. What's this metallic noise that sounds like an alien like call? After nearly two years of research, expert biologists determined that this sound could be a call from a mink whale, a type of baleen whale. They noted there are several types of mink whales in the survey area, but not much is known about their vocal behavior. And since it was a never-before-heard call, it represented a breakthrough in the study of marine life in the Mariana Trench. Exploring the Deep the ambition to conquer ever more challenging depths began in 1875, when the Challenger Expedition first sounded the Mariana Trench. Using a weighted rope, they recorded a depth of 26,850 feet when they ran out of rope. They named their discovery Challenger Deep, and it was clear that there was more to discover. The depths of this abyss were first challenged by men in 1960. U.S. Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh and Swiss oceanographer Jacques Picard descended in the submersible Bathyscaphe Trieste. As you know, the pressure here is such that an acrylic window cracked while descending. After checking it, they decided they could continue, and they did it. The Trieste reached 35,814 feet, and upon ascending, Don and Jacques were greeted as two great heroes. With the same curiosity and thirst for the unknown, Canadian filmmaker and director of Titanic, James Cameron, made a descent in the Deep Sea Challenger submersible. He himself led a team of engineers and marine biologists to carry out this major exploration that finally took place in March 2012. As he descended, he went from sweltering heat to the freezing temperatures of the deep and into absolute darkness. All this while contemplating the incredible marine wildlife. It took Cameron 3.5 hours to get to the bottom of the Mariana Trench, reaching a depth of 35,787 feet. But of course, we weren't going to settle for Cameron's feet. So American explorer Victor Vescovo achieved a new record descent of 35,853 feet in 2019. Using a Triton submarine, he dove four times, becoming the first person to dive Challenger deep more than once. Vescovo was able to collect the deepest sediment and biological samples ever collected, extremely important for scientific research. In addition to encountering puzzling creatures, one of his grim records was footage of what appeared to be a plastic bag at the bottom of the ocean. As scientists who have tried to explore every nook and cranny of the Mariana Trench acknowledge, there's much to be discovered here. Can you imagine the creatures that could inhabit this dark sea hole? Life in the Mariana Trench Some of the most amazing animals in the world live across the wide deep Mariana Trench. One of the first to appear is the Mariana snailfish. 
This ghostly looking fish is Mariana Trench's top predator at only 11.3 inches long and weighing 0.35 pounds. Other creatures mostly found here are the sea cucumber with its fascinating shapes and colors. Among the creepiest is the black sea dragon. This small sea demon has huge teeth and a body that can be up to 20 inches long. In the darkness of the Mariana Trench, the black sea dragon can produce its own light to attract prey and potential mates. Zombie worms, also known as Osidax, are next on the list. These bone eaters can actually bore into and eat bones from whale carcasses and feed on the nutrient-rich lipids within the bone. Not to mention the supergiant amphipods, which are other very common creatures at the sea bottom. This one here has earned the nickname Living Fossil for its primitive appearance. The frilled shark can measure up to 13 feet long. With its numerous rows of small teeth, this shark won't let any prey escape. Now, let's look at the nicer ones, like the telescope octopus. This transparent friend was so named because of its elongated tubular eyes protruding from its head. On the other hand, the Dumbo octopus at 11.8 inches is much smaller compared to other octopuses. Its gelatinous body is adapted to only live at high pressure depths. On the surface, its body wouldn't work properly. Many believe these waters could also be home to the Megamouth shark and even the Megalodon. While this may be the case for the Megamouth shark, more exploration will be needed to find out. What would it be like to die in this abyss? As you saw so far, the manned explorations have been successful. However, Cameron himself admitted that the mission entailed so many ways to die. What could have gone wrong? Here are five ways you could die at the bottom of the Challenger Deep. Number one, implosion. Any weak point or defect in the submersible structure would result in a catastrophe as the pressure increases. James Cameron wouldn't have drowned at first, but would have been crushed by the pressure at the bottom of the Mariana Trench, equivalent to 1,000 elephants. His body would have become an unrecognizable mass of skin and bones. Ugh. Number two, hypothermia. Surely you saw that Cameron wore hats and gloves on certain sections of the descent. If the systems had failed and he'd been unable to return to the surface, he would have died of hypothermia long before running out of oxygen. This is because the depths of the Mariana Trench reach a temperature of 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 3. Fire Submarines are packed with technology as well as life support systems. Logically, they all require power or electricity. This along with pure O2 that usually circulates inside would cause a small electrical fault or spark to trigger a fire that would consume the interior in no time. Number 4. Melting the Mariana Trench is also surrounded by hydrothermal vents of volcanic origin. These spontaneously emanate sulfur and liquid carbon dioxide. These jets can reach up to 1,292 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hot enough to melt part of the submarine, especially the window. Number 5. Lost in Action Imagine you're ascending, and within a few feet of reaching the surface, you lose all communication with the monitoring team. With no possibility of navigation, the ocean currents can drag you many miles away. The team waiting for you on the surface has no idea where you are. In addition, you could also get tangled in submarine communication cables. These cables string together telecommunication systems around the world. They're even along the Mariana Trench. If you still have the crazy idea of diving into the waters of the Mariana Trench, you should know that however you die in this pit, your body wouldn't float to the surface as the pressure would have expelled all the air. You'll probably stay at the bottom to be devoured by zombie worms, which, as you know, usually eat whale bones, but I'm sure they wouldn't pass on this opportunity. The threat is made of plastic. If you were impressed with the bag that Victor Vescovo found in his exploration, let me tell you, that was just the tip of the iceberg. Unfortunately, it seems that pollution has been exploring the depths of the Mariana Trench long before we have. This footage taken by a recent exploration shows the remains of a helium balloon from the popular children's movie Frozen and a five-gallon bucket. It's outrageous that these items have made it to this remote location. 
Globally, it's been estimated that there are over 14 million tons of plastic on the seafloor. Plus, researchers found that small samples of ocean sediment contained an average of 1.26 pieces of microplastic in their composition. With this, humankind shows once again that the destruction of ecosystems lies in their hands. The answers to many scientific questions still remain in the unexplored depths of this wonderful place. Will we lose it before we finish discovering all it holds for us? Are you already packing your diving suit? Venture into the depths and subscribe to TrendMax. There's more content like this waiting for you.